upload the video already. Oh. Hi there. It's Kelly Van Washen over here from Educational Technology Services at Denison. In this week's Tuesday Tech Tip, I'm going to offer you some troubleshooting guidelines on how to improve your internet connection. So let's get started. Hey family, how's your internet connection right now? What are you trying to watch? Mama. What is it? Mama. Did you know that uses an internet connection? <laughs> I wonder how pre-K is going today. You're frozen, Miss Kelly. You're frozen. Uh-oh, and I don't think they're talking about Anna and Elsa. My husband's also working, so I'm going to see if he's having problems too. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah it's kind of slow. I'm in a meeting. At last, there are two living creatures in my house who are not using the internet at the same time. So that's definitely impacting my speed, but let's do some troubleshooting to see some other problems that might be occurring. When you're trying to load something in a browser and it's performing a little slow, there are some initial steps you can take within the browser to troubleshoot that. So first, I'm going to go ahead and paste my YouTube video that I'm trying to load in here. And see, it loaded up right away for me because I have a great connection right now. But if it didn't, it would have been stuck at that spinning little thing you saw in the beginning there. So what happens when you get stuck in that little spinning loading icon? Well, there are some different steps you can take. I'm going to open a new tab here. And you see how I have all of these tabs up here? That's step one. That is probably lagging my internet speed a bit. So the easiest thing to do right there is to just go ahead and close out your Chrome browser with the red X. And I say your Chrome browser because that's what Denison recommends you use. And then just go ahead and reopen it. And you can just paste the single link in there. So this is the link to Jeff Kurtz's video. All right, and that loaded faster this time. Now, other things you can do is the first thing I would suggest after going ahead and closing all those tabs is you could just restart your browser, which I already did. The next thing is to take a look. You see the three dots in the top right of Google Chrome browser. And in here, you can go to your settings. Within your settings, you have an area under privacy and security here that says clear browsing data. When you click on that, you can clear your data to just wipe all of that clean, and it kind of gives you a fresh slate when you go in and need to do other things. Um, it, it's really great. I just wiped it clean a second ago, so I don't have much saved in here. Another thing to note about your settings area is you can also manage your plugins and extensions in Google Chrome. So clicking this extensions area here on the left will open up all of your extensions. Now, you can check and see if they're causing problems by just clicking on them and disabling them. Or if you find some that you don't need anymore, like I don't need this one, just click remove and completely get rid of it because that's going to improve your browser performance in general. Something else to note about plugins and extensions is they can cause issues when you're using certain applications. So Notebull and the different Google tools, those have both had issues depending on different extensions and plugins you have. So just make sure you're very careful with what plugins and extensions you are putting on your computer. So now that I've taken a look at the browser level for troubleshooting, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my computer. I'm going to X out of my browser here, and I just want to draw your attention to a few things. Up here in the top right bar, I'm on a Mac, but you can also see these things in a Windows computer. I can see the different applications that are currently running, and that includes my Adobe here. So I have Adobe running in the background. Also, when I look down here at the bottom, I can see different windows for programs that I have open. So if you have a ton of things open down here or up here, that could be causing general slowness on your computer. Also know that if you get that spinning beach ball for a Mac or the hourglass on a PC, that's typically a sign that your computer is doing something slow and not necessarily your internet connection. So keep that in mind. One way you can improve performance with your computer is simply by restarting. So for Macs, you can go up to the Apple here and then just click restart. 
it's going to prompt you about opening the windows when you log back in. I would suggest unchecking that because the whole point of restarting is to kind of get a fresh start and to make it move faster. So I would not check that box. I'm going to cancel because I don't want to restart at this moment. But also something to know is up here in the Mac, you have an about this Mac area. And if you click in that, you'll see that you have the software update button. If you go in and look at your software updates, it will let you know if your computer is up to date. So I have one update waiting, and I can go ahead and, and try to update that later. Uh, that's not a huge update for me. But if you are a couple operating systems behind, that can definitely impact your computer's performance and its internet performance. So you might want to consider updating. Now that we've talked a bit about troubleshooting on the computer level, let's talk about your modem and your router. So everyone probably has a different modem and router in their house. Here at my house, we have WOW Internet. So this black box, this is our modem. So when I take a look at it, I see all these lights on. If I want to restart it to just give it you know, a fresh start or a little reboot, I would just go ahead back here and unplug the power cord. I'd wait about 10 to 30 seconds to just let it forget everything, and then I can go ahead and plug it right back in. I also have this white box over here, and this is my router. And we have these actually placed all over our house, which is why we have a fairly strong connection. So this, if I wanted to restart this, I would do the same thing and just go ahead and unplug it. Wait 10 to 30 seconds and go ahead and plug it back in. Now, since everyone has a different modem and router in their house, if you're having problems and it's on the level of your internet service provider, you will need to contact them. One way you can check just to see the speed of internet that you are getting at your home is you can go to your computer, open up a browser window, and check out speedtest.net. Now speedtest.net, I'm going to hit go, and it's actually going to scan and see what my download and upload speeds are. Typically your download speed is going to be a lot faster than your upload speed, and that's totally normal. So here I can also see who my internet service provider is and all of that additional server information there. Now this is going to vary for everyone and those numbers will be different. So just keep in mind that if you do need to do a test and report to your internet service provider that you're having connection issues, it's good to run this and see what that download and upload time is so that you can talk to them about it. Well, there you have it. Some internet connectivity tech tips for this Tuesday. I hope your troubleshooting goes well. If you have any issues, please feel free to reach out to the ITS Service Desk. They can be reached at servicedesk at denison.edu. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.